Uh, after the EGM yesterday, we respect the decision made by the central delegates at yesterday's meeting. The MCA Central Committee, as I've uh, informed all the media yesterday, will be held on the 15th of October to deliberate the outcome of EGM. The MCA Central Committee will analyze the outcome of this EGM and will seriously discuss at great length all possible avenues and explore all options available to come up with the best solution in the interest of the community and the party to face the community in the next general election. From last night and also this morning, we can see from the news reports, the results of the EGM has caused various speculations and interpretations by different quarters, including MCA leaders in many ways. We would like to urge party leaders not to make any speculation on this matter until MCA Central Committee deliberates on this matter. We have also received many advices, concerns and appeals which we truly appreciate. We would like to reiterate that the decision on Dato Sri Chua Suelek's disciplinary action is a collective decision of the MCA Presidential Council as well as MCA Central Committee. And uh, Central Committee members shall be collectively responsible for this. The MCA Central Committee, as well as the Presidential Council, hold that the decision will make collectively as a team and we should be accountable as a team. The majority of the MCA Central Committee members have earlier advised the President not to make any decision irrespective of the outcome of the EGM until the President refers to the MCA Central Committee to which the President has agreed. This advice was made for the sake of unity of the party and the President in this case is not alone on this matter. Thank you. It is a, a result which require the party to make a decision on the outcome of the wishes uh, of the majority of the central delegates. So to say whether it is a crisis or there's a split, uh, of course, this again uh, actually it does not reflect the true situation as has been alleged. Uh, by the delegates. Eh? But anyhow, some uh, deliberation, some uh, decision uh, has to be made as the outcome eh, of the results, as it is the wish eh, of the central delegate which make such kind of decision. Now, the EGM is just a vote or no confidence, eh? so it does not uh, constitute the res resignation of the president. But if the president choose to I mean, uh, resign, then of course, as I've mentioned earlier, all these uh, 
uh, wishes will be deliberate in the meeting. No, as long as the party constitution is concerned, when say the president ceases to hold his office, then the deputy president will go up and fill up the post. So if uh, there is a vacancy in the deputy president's post, then the central committee members can among them elect a member to fill up that post. So in this case, if there exists uh, vacancies uh, in this post, then the central committees among them they can they can uh, elect a member to fill up the post.